Yo, welcome into the video, fellas. Now, I get this comment on these type of videos all the time. You can't be wasting time if you're having fun. Well, in my opinion, it is absolutely no fun spending seven hours doing something you could do in one hour, getting bad gear when you could be getting good gear. Now, that's just my opinion. If you want to get out there and do everything the way that you want to, taking twice, three, four times as long, you can. But here right today, I'm bringing you tips on some of these end game activities so you save a lot of time and you can get way better gear and level up and get even more powerful even faster because who doesn't want to get out there and absolutely slap down demons with absolute ease because you're mega powerful now first up number one here we're going with my tips on the tree of whispers getting the different favors now there's a particular way that i like to do it that i think is probably going to be the most efficient and feel free to head down in the comments if you disagree if you got a better way but i always do this harvest one where you get three grim favors because usually you have to go ahead and kill like a hundred maybe a little more than a hundred monsters but you get a hundred of these like animus or whatever the little glowy orbs are you collect those up come back to this little altar well yeah once you collect those hundred boom there's three automatically. And the thing is you collect these along the way while you're doing other events to get more of the favors. Now, a great example of one I try to do along at the exact same time as that one is like right here. You got to slay 50 bandits. So while you're slaying these 50 bandits, they will also uh, monsters along the way be dropping the different things you need in order to do this one right here. So in a matter of a minute or two, you can probably easily get uh, that will be four of these favors to go to the Tree of Whispers. Then usually maybe I will go to a different area and find a similar one like that. Right here doesn't have a particular one of those uh, uh, altars to put the stuff in. But here's another one. And look around either for, you know, another one of those. Or you have these uh, overworld events. You see it's that triangle, much like when it's those orange circles. It'll be a similar thing right here. So you can complete the overworld event and get that one favor along with collecting the stuff that you need in order to do this different harvest event so boom right there you get four you do another one you get four and usually what i'll go ahead and do is throw is throw in one of these uh little sellers they take literally maybe a minute to get one more favor and boom you got 10 of them in maybe five minutes you can come back over to the tree bam get your reward come back over and you can do that cycle all over again or if you really wanted to, you can hit some of the other ones. I don't usually do dungeons because they take so incredibly long to get through the long and windy go get this and do that. Sometimes I will do them if I need the aspect that's on there, but usually I steer clear of those. Now, unfortunately, I'm recording right now and there's no Helltide going on. It just finished a few minutes ago, but this is a tip for that particular event. Don't go after like the jewelry ones. Don't go after the chests for the swords or anything like that. Make sure you look for these mystery box i'll bring in different pictures i'll bring in a different videos but uh you definitely want to go for these mystery boxes because you get way more good items out of these check out this video right here i went over looking for one boom i found one uh and boom popped it four legendaries all at once you're not going to get anything good like this out of the regular chest you might get one sometimes you don't get any and it's so frustrating but with these mystery chests you get way more and way better gear from them now they are kind of expensive they're 175 instead of the 75 or 125 for the jewelry and for like the armor and stuff respectfully but uh they are way way better now they are harder to find because they are not marked on your map you have to just kind of either stumble across them or you can go ahead and look up exactly where they're at online so right here i am on map genie and i actually have the map set right here to show the location of where all of the mystery chests will be so as you gather up the uh, little embers that you need in order to open the chest save up 175 don't go to the 125 or 75 like i said come to any of these locations when you eventually do get them and they're all over the map they are always going to be in the same locations uh for now i assume they're so good i they might patch this in the future where they maybe randomize the locations but for now they're always going to be in these locations so uh go ahead i'll put a link to this map genie map that shows where they're at and go to these mystery chests Instead of going to the other ones, you're going to get way better stuff if you do this. So next up is one not to sleep on. Make sure you go ahead and do these Legion events. Not necessarily having to be for the Tree of Whispers, but this one actually falls in the region. So you can go ahead and do it and get your Grim Favors for it too. But even without that, these Legion events, in my opinion, are actually incredibly fun. And you actually get some crazy stuff that you don't really find in other ways. Uh, correct me if I am wrong down in the comments. Feel free. 
I get a ton of different mount armors and different mount um, trophies from doing these Legion events. On top of that, you're really zipping around. Everyone's running as fast as they can to slaughter these packs. So don't sleep on these Legion events. They do pop up randomly. There's a little time counting down just like the world bosses until they start. But when you do see them around, I would really tell you to go ahead and hop on this. You can get some real cool, like I said, stuff for your horse. So next up, we're going to talk about Nightmare Dungeons and these Nightmare Sigils. Now, if you, at first, when you find a whole bunch of them, they're going to be a bunch of tier ones and a bunch of maybe tier twos and threes and stuff. If they're really low tiers, much lower than you really want, just go ahead and come over here and just go ahead and scrap them like these for me. Tier three, we're going to get rid of tier four, we'll get rid of. Tier 6, uh, maybe that's around where I want to keep, plus it has magic find on it, so maybe we'll go ahead and keep it. So, um, these other ones I'm not really going to do here either. This one, once again, has magic find on it. I want to find items, so maybe we'll keep those ones. These other ones over here are 8s and 8s, and this one right here is a 15 and a 18, so we're going to go ahead and keep that. So, don't keep a bazillion, or don't be spending your time doing these lower level dungeons. You'll get less experience. The gear won't be as good. Go ahead and just scrap those. Take what you get from them and go ahead and craft higher ones. Here I can go ahead and craft 11s to 15s. Let's go ahead and craft a couple of them while we're at it here so we get a couple more. It's kind of random, so we got an 11 and we've got a 13. So I'll go ahead and keep them in order. Uh, 7, 11, 13, actually tier 8, move that down. So I just like keeping the stuff in order. That's just me, but uh, don't keep super, super low dungeons if you have no problem doing the higher ones because you'll get way more experience. And like I said, better loot now another tip for these nightmare dungeons when you look at them sometimes you can go ahead and look and depending on the area you can tell what type of potion you need to give you a ton more defense or survivability in order for that particular area so we'll take a good example of one right here cultist refuge well i'm guessing there's going to be cultists there huh so you can actually come up here and find a potion that is boom increased damage against uh, cannibals bandits knight pendant tents and cultists by 20%. And of course, you gain the experience that you always do. So you can go ahead and literally deal out 20% more damage to the particular area. Now, they don't all say exactly. Maybe you might have to look it up. Maybe you don't remember what's Alderwoods uh, in Scottsdale. Scottsdale, excuse me, what type of monsters those are going to be. But you can go ahead and figure it out. And then you can go ahead and take the potion that corresponds to that monster. Or there's other ways you can go ahead and help yourself out as well. We'll say, for instance, um, not Quick Killer, not Avenger, but monster poison damage do you know that these monsters are going to be having more poison damage against you so perhaps you're going to want to go ahead and take a poison uh resistance elixir before you hop down into that particular nightmare dungeon all different ways to help yourself out because if you get more clear speed on a dungeon it means you're going to find more items because in the same amount of time you have to play you can kill more monsters which will drop more monsters which will give you more experience i know how everyone's lives are you only have a finite amount of time to play the game so if you're clearing more dungeons you're getting more powerful faster. So there's some stuff for some of the end game activities to hopefully save you some time, get that loot, get that experience, get that gear even better so you get even more powerful faster. Huge shout out to the channel members. They're the people that support the channel with memberships and make it possible for me to keep streaming and making videos on this channel. Thank you guys so much. Hit the like button and subscribe up before you go. Fellas, peace out. And don't forget to keep slaying.